Always good to see you. I'm happy to see parents around and teachers um, and all partners of the program. Um, with the STEM Olympia, this is our third edition. Uh, what's interesting is we have the franchise for a lot of the International Olympia. So we have the franchise for the Physics Olympia. Um, a couple of months ago, I was in Saudi Arabia. We have the franchise for the Chemistry Olympia as well. And you know, for all these Olympiads, you have to have a pool of candidates to train them and get them to represent your country. So the idea of the Ghana STEM Olympiad was, okay, can we have sort of a platform where we get students, that's why we start all the way from grade 9, up until grade 11, or if you're doing the A-level grade 12, come in, and then, um, you know, start these exams, write, write these um, competition, write this uh, first level, if they do well, like you've done, and at the semi-final and final level, they'll be a part of the pool where eventually we'll further train them to represent Ghana for these international And so the overall winner for today will get the opportunity of getting a fully sponsored um, trip um, to any of our global competitions or programs. And as I mentioned earlier, we have quite a number of them. Now, 60 questions, 90 minutes. You have two points. For a correct answer, okay, if you get it right, but two, if you get it wrong, because we don't want you to guess, there's going to be a deduction of minus. Okay, so plus two for a right answer, minus two for a wrong answer. If you're not too sure and you don't want to guess, zero. At the end of the day, you're going to tabulate. So when you're done with that, um, you come down for STEM training and then you have a STEM experiment. So I wish you all the very best. You've done the learning, you've done you know, all that you're supposed to do. Now it's time for you to prove um, that you've learned enough. Okay, so how was the paper? How was it for you? Well, I mean, it was okay. It was a bit difficult, but I did what I have to do, so, yeah. What about you? How was the paper for you? Uh, more or less, it wasn't bad, but the questions were, like, practical and, you know. It was okay. Yeah, some aspects of it. You have to really critically think and answer the questions, but we were prepared for it, so there was no problem. Which section was tough for you guys? I think the physics questions were more difficult than the other ones, but the chemistry and biology were okay. The biology, I think, was the best, but then physics and chemistry were a little bit more difficult than the other ones. I'll say the hardest questions probably came from the physics, and then, funnily enough, the easiest ones came from physics. Hello, my name is Dosho Pukwajima. I'm the president for Ghana STEM Work. My job is to make sure they prepare you up for the future. So I, at least I see a large number of you who have not coded before. Before you leave here today, you're going to learn to code, do some interesting projects, and also go through the challenge as well. The operating systems we use, iOS, Android, Windows, they were all built with C++. The browsers we use were all built with C++, the gaming engines and all that. So C++ is one of the most powerful programming languages in the world today. If you learn how to use it, you can build anything, program anything, from robotics to drones to whatever you want to build. You will need that language to be able to program it. So we are going to build upon the knowledge you already have, and from here you take on and keep building up. How is the experience? What have you learned today? learned a lot because before this I think most of us or a lot of us didn't really know how these things work how to connect like all these wires and things like that but it's really an eye-opening eye experience so we're really grateful for the experience
or how are you feeling after receiving this award? About 500 students competing, being the overall winner. How is the feeling? The feeling is good and it's great. And then for St. John's, I think it's a happy moment for all of us. A happy moment for the entire staff, the headmaster, the administrators, everyone who is involved, the PTA, our old boys and everyone involved in this, we are so much grateful to them. We are grateful for uh, the organizers as well for such a fit. Thank you.